a while ago that she feels like there are two babies inside. Is that correct? She feels that there's two inside. Maybe I, 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 told, her, I told her, maybe it's three. Right now, that baby is being formed into its mother's womb. Amen? Everything is a process. I want you to say that. Everything is a process. That's why when it comes to our spiritual life, it's the same way. Everything is a process. You don't get... Uh, What's your height? I'm uh, going to want to uh, What's the equivalent of five four or five one? Sa yun siya sabi mo. Hindi kasi hindi ako sanay sa one fifteen. I sanay ako sa five four four five. That's your height. Uh, three three one. So So you don't remember your height right now. You're not this big when you went out of your mother's womb. Amen. You started like a small uh, creature in your mother's womb. And it took you years to be formed into an adult. Is that correct? So same thing is true with spiritual growth and maturity. It is a process. I want to say that. Ang paglagong espiritual ay isang proseso. At hindi. At Tatanong na ako kung masasabi kayo ng amin. Amen. Amen. So it's a process. And we talk about the foundation of our spiritual formation that Jesus said everything is about foundation. You want to grow in the Lord, you need to have a right foundation. And we talk about the role of the Trinity, the role of the Father, the role of the Son and the role of the Holy Spirit in our spiritual formation. And before we go there, I would like to request everyone to please stand up. We will be reading out of the book of Ephesians chapter 3. Ephesians chapter 3. Uh, beginning with verse 14 to 19. Yung kanina lang, Ross, din yung, yung sa PowerPoint na ginawa ko. Ephesians chapter 3, 14 to 19. Are you ready to read? Yeah. Ah, wala, wala, ready. Are you ready to read? Yeah. Come on, let's read out. Of. One, two, three. For this reason, I before the Father, from whom his soul family in heaven and on earth derives his name. I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with the power through the Spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power together with all the saints to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. And to know this love as a process knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. So we will be picking up from verse 17 in our studies today. Let's pray. Father, we want to thank you for your words are alive. I believe that every time we come to church, this is a wonderful time. Uh, that must be contributed to our spiritual formation. We are not here only to see our friends. We are here to have an encounter with you and with your word. 
because these are all part of our spiritual formation. Help us to understand your words today. Thank you for our great teacher, the Holy Spirit, who will continue to teach us so that we can be conformed according to the image and likeness of your Son, Jesus Christ. So we commit this to you right now, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Everyone say, Amen. Greet somebody, give them high five, and tell them, God bless you. So we will, in our test, we will pick up with verse uh, 17. And then we will talk about uh, the deepening of our spiritual formation. I want to say that the deepening, the deepening. Say, say it loud, louder, the deepening, the deepening of our spiritual formation. Of our spiritual Firstly, the process of deepening ourselves in God. Verse 17 of Ephesians chapter 3. So that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray, look at the prayer of the Apostle Paul for the Ephesian believers. And I pray that you being rooted and establish in love now give me a comparison saan tayo kinumpara ng Diyos sa Biblia na nabasa nyo sa Biblia sino na nabasa ng Biblia dito wala pakitas ka may kung nakapagpasa na kayo ng Biblia o yung sikat na sikat na sinabi ng Biblia Saan tayo inahalin tulad ng Panginoon? We were, you know, uh, Psalm chapter 1, we, we were compared to a tree. I want to say that, tree. Puno. Lahat na nakakita ng puno rito, pakitas kamay. Salamat sa dalawampung kamay na nakakita yung iba, hindi, hindi pa kayo nakakita ng puno. Lahat na nakakita ng puno na taas kamay. Okay. So describe to me a tree. Describe nyo. Merong ugat. Roots. I remember when we went to Davao, sino sa inyo mahilig sa langka? Ano sa English yung langka? Okay. Ang sarap ng langka. Diba? Alam nyo, itong puno na to, yung langka, doon sa tapat ng kapatid ng bahay ni Pastora, yung bunga lumabas sa uga. Yes! Nasa baba ng lupa. Ngayon, ang tingin ko rin positive. Bakit? Kasi kung ganun kalaking lang ka nasa taas at dumaan ka at nalaglang <laughs> patay ka lang ka ka uh, eh, Hello So I think that is the wisdom of God Inalaw niya yung pagkala kalaking puno na na sa ugat tumubo tapos nung binuksan yung lang ka ubod ng tamis. Pagka tamis-tamis, parang asukal. Okay? So you describe to me that when you look at the tree, mayroong ugat. Tapos ano ba mayroon? Mayroong main trunk. Okay, tapos? May branches. Tapos? Mayroong leaves. Tapos, pag panahon na ng prutas, meron ng bunga. Sabi ni Tiffany, right now, piyesta raw sa Davao. 
ang tawag ay fiesta ng kadayawan. Alam natin ang mahal ng kadayawan. Okay. Ang manggaraw tatlong kilo 100 pesos. Sobrang mura ng manggaraw. Tatlong kilo 100 pesos. Magkano yung 100 pesos sa euro? Ha? One euro algo. O sabi na rin, one fifty na lang. One euro fifty cents. Tatlong kilo mangga. Ha? Fifty cents isang kilo. Kapag natin ito, bro, na. I see, we talk about we talk about the tree, right? Ngayon, kahit na ganong kaganda yung parang yun ako nasasaling mo Tagalog ulit. Okay na ba? Kahit kaganong kaganda yung puno, yung puno na yan, hindi yan tatayo kung walang ugat. And this was the prayer of the Apostle Paul. He said, and I pray, Ephesians 3.17, that you being rooted and established in love. So Jesus, Paul, used an agricultural term. Okay? Because he talks about a tree. He talks about a plant. He talks about the roots. So, a tree will only be strong when the root system is strong. Uh, uh, amen? Amen. Um, sino na rito nakabunod na ng planta na maliit? Di ba ba? Nakakita na kayo ng makahiya. Alam niyo yung nalaman ng makahiya? Pagka hinawa ko, nakabukas siya pagka hinawa ko. Di ba makahiya? O, oh, parang nahihiya na, kaya gumagawin. Pag binunod mo yung makahiya, Meron ba yung ugat? Meron. Pero mas madali siyang bunutin. Amen? O, gawin mo yan sa isang puno ng mangga. Let's go. Ikaw ang mahihiya. You, you know why? Because you cannot even move the tree. The tree is very, very strong. And therefore, when Paul prayed, that the efficient believers might be rooted, he is giving them a picture na kung paano isang puno na malalim ang ugat ay matibay pagdating ng bagyo. Okay? That was the prayer of the possible for you and for me. Amen? Amen? Pakisabi nga sa katabi mo, Kapatid, pagtibayin mo naman ang iyong mga ugat. Hindi ang iyong pangaham. Hello? Hello? Dapat ang matibay sa buhay natin yung ating mga spiritual roots. Bakit? Eh kasi ba... A lot of situation, people, circumstances will try to knock us down. Marami. Katrabaho mo can be used by the devil to knock you down. Your boss, even your family can be used by the enemy to knock you down. Even your family can persecute you. Amen? Even your friends in the school can be used by the devil to knock you off. Kaya kung mahina yung iyong uga, you can easily fall down. But when your roots are strong, no matter what comes your way, no problem will be so big to knock you down. Kasi masyado kang matibay sa Panginoon. Amen? So being 
By being rooted. Pag by being rooted. By being rooted. Now, the Greek word for rooted here is Ritsu. Pag sabi nga, Ritsu. R-H-I-L-Z-O. -L -O. Okay, Ritsu. It means to cause to take root or to be strengthened with roots. In other words, the strength of the tree comes from the fruit. Tama ba yan? No. 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 Where does the strength of the tree come from? From the leaves? The strength of a tree comes from the roots. Nandudun yung lakas ng puno. Okay? Kaya kung hinanintulad tayo ng Panginoon sa isang puno, ang lakas natin, wala doon sa ating ginagawa. Ang lakas natin, sa loob, your personal walk with Christ. Amen? At alam nyo, walang nakakakita nun. It's only you and God who knows it. Katulad ng ugat, hindi mo nakikita dahil nakalubog. Amen? So, I cannot judge your spiritual life because I don't know the real, real you. Pero kayo, alam nyo kung anong klaseng kristyano kayo. Amen? Alam nyo kung kayo worldly. Alam nyo kung kayo ay bitter. Alam nyo kung kayo ay galit sa loob. Alam ninyo kung anong klaseng pagkakristyano meron ka. Hindi ko alam yun. Wala ang nakakaalam nun. Ikaw lang ang nakakaalam nun. Hello? Kasi nakatago yan eh. Hello? Nakatago. Pero yung nakatago, nandudoon yung power that can either build you up or destroy your life. Nakatago yun eh. Nobody knows it. Amen? Amen. And therefore, pwede ka magkaroon, magkaroon ng roots. Pero pagdating sa spiritual life, parang ang isang makahiya na madali kang bunutin. But if you are growing in Christ, even other people doesn't know who you are, you know your strength lies in your spiritual roots. Yung iyong ugat ay matibay. Bakit? Tandaan nyo ito. Pag dumating yung ulan, okay, sino ang sumisip-sip ng ulan? Ha? Yung ugat. Pag dumating ang tawag nito, ang ulan, okay, ang nakikinabang ng puno, hindi yung sanga. At hindi yung mangga. Kung hindi, directamente yung bukat. Sa, sa lupa, nakakita na kayo ng lupang mataba? Anong kulay ng lupang mataba? Maitim. 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 Maitim na ba? Nagpunta kami sa... Di ba rin? Anong kulay yung lupa na nakita natin? Nagpunta tayo na alikate? Brown or a little bit reddish? Ang alam ko yung namatapang lupa eh. So mataba ba yung lupa? Ah? Ah? Ah, yung itim na may fertilizer na, sabi ng kapatid mo. Ah, usap na lang yung dalawa mo. Okay? Okay, tignan nyo to. Pag lumabas yung ugat, 
do sa puno. Sino mo na nakikinabang ng minaras ng, ng ground? Yung sangal? Yung dahon? No, 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 no. Ang una no, nakikinabang siyempre yung buka. Sinisip-sip niya lahat yung vitamins, yung minerals, yung nutrients ng soil. Amen? Pag umunan, sinisip-sip niya yung oxygen ng or yung hydrogen ng tubig. Amen? So, ano mo unahin mo? Yung fruit? Ang unahin mo, yung ugat. That was the prayer of the Apostle Paul. At yung ugat na yan, ulitin ko, hindi nakikita. Young people, you might be here in the church. Your parents doesn't know what kind of roots you have. Hindi nila alam. Kahit kasama nyo sila sa bahay, they don't know what kind of spiritual roots you have. Why? Nakatago yun. Kaya lang ganito, kung matalino ka, dahil yan ay nakatago, kahit hindi yan nakikita ng tao, you will strive to do your best to strengthen your root system. Kasi ang makikinabang din yan ay ikaw. Ikaw ang makikinabang. Pag dumating ng problema, hindi ka madaling bumaksak. Pagka meron mga offending situation, you are not easily offended. Kapag ka meron ng insulto sa'yo, it just lights in your ears. Hindi ka madaling maapektuhan. Maari ka masaktan, but it doesn't last for so many, many days. Bakit years? Pagka years ang sinabi nyo, you have become a bitter person. Days. Actually, ganun ito. Sabi ng Lord, pag nagaling daw ang Panginoon, okay, is like a twinkling of an eye. Hello. The anger of the Lord lasts for a moment. Alam niyo yung moment doon? Ang definition ay twinkling of an eye. Paano ko mag-twinkle? Pag sobrang takal ka mag-twinkle, pag sobrang takal ka mag-twinkle, hindi yan twinkle, antok, tulog ka na. Parang mas maganda yung impact pag nagalog. Nakasunta ka ba yan? Yung twinkle, ganun lang. Isang iglap lang. Ganun daw katagal yung galit ng Panginoon. Ang mga Pilipino, nako. Pagka nagalit, Madre mia. Ilan taon na nakalipas, galit pa rin. Tapos hindi lang yun, hindi lang galit. Kinikwento pa sa iba. Na hindi naman involved sa kanyang problema. Nagdadamay ng iba. Alam niyo yung mga taong gano'n na they don't deal with their own problems at nag-i-import pa ng ibang tao, mahina ang root system niya. Pero kapag kamalakas yung root system mo, kapag ka na-open ka, you deal with it immediately and you don't involve others. Why? The only person involved is God who is the source of all your strength. Spirit, soul, and body. You see, we need to be strong in our spiritual root system. We need to be rooted. Secondly, or secondly, secondly, by being 
established. I want to say that by being established. Okay? The Greek word is themelios. Okay? It means foundational, describing that which lies beneath, with reference always to something secure and permanent in itself, means to ground securely. Alam nyo yung bakit tayo stop, mag dapat mag-establish? If you are established in your relationship with God, this is what happens to you. You know who you are in Christ. Hindi mo na kinakailangan ng approval ng ibang mga tao. Hello? Alam niyo problema sa human being? Kaya tayo nag-divisar ng mga approval ng tao because we are weak spiritually. Pero kapag kilala mo kung sino ka kay Kristo, you don't even need to please other people around. Amen. You don't even need their approval. Why? Because you are established in your walk with God and you are very secure on the inside. Noong hindi pa ako ligtas, nako, maghanap ka ng very insecure na tao, ako yun. Ako yun. Why? Because I grew up in a broken home. My parents left us when we were growing up. And then I grew up in a broken home and a hostile environment. Hello? Tapos ubod ko na, ubod ako ng pagkamahiyain. Imagine yun, namahiyain ako. <laughs> Parang, parang hindi talata. Ay, hindi talata. Mahiyan ako. Yung makipag-usap ng one-on-one -on -one sa isang babae, wow. hindi mo kaya. Wow. I, I cannot. Because I am very insecure and very timid. Okay? Yung kapatid ko, pagka merong Santa Cruzan, ah, siya yung pangsabak niyan. Nakagaon. Tapos habang dumadaan yung yung Santa Cruz na gano'n, nagpunok ko sa isang sulong ako. Nanonood na ako. I don't even want to stand up and join the crowd. But I'm a very insecure person. I'm very timid. I don't believe in myself. I don't... I, I, I'm very hopeless when it com comes to my future. But I tell you this, when the time came for me to come to know the Lord, kinakailangan ni overcome or i-overhaul ng Panginoon yung aking personality so that God can use me. Hello? Now, hindi ako nahihiya especially when it comes to serving the Lord. And God is still working on me. Uh, securing myself that I don't need the approval of other people. I'm very secure in myself. Uh, whether people praise me or not, whether people treat me good or not, it doesn't matter. Why? Because the presence of God has established you. Hello? Amen. Alam niyo yung mga weak, they are always trying to please people around them. Ayaw nilang makaka-displease ng tao sa paligid. Teka mo na, nobody is perfect. Amen? Nobody is perfect. Yung mga young people, bakit napupunta yung mga young people sa drugs, sa sex? Wrong company. Because we are trying to please people. At tapos, rather than feel good because the Lord has accepted you, ang hinahanap mo yung acceptance ng tao. Dapat magkasya na tayo sa the fact that God has already accepted us.
that should be enough. Amen. So even when people reject us, it doesn't matter. Why? We are so secure in our relationship with God. God has accepted me and that is enough for me. Amen. 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 Parati natin, parati tayo naghahanap na accept us ng mga tao. Alam niyo mga kapatid, hindi tayo magiging masaya. Malulungkot tayo. Bakit? Eh kasi pag hindi na tayo na-accept ng tao na sa paligid natin, wala na, sira na tayo. Am Amen? Kaya sabi na natin ko, alam mo nung, nung pinagbubuntis kita, marami kong biniling dahon dyan sa kiyapo para ilaglag kita. Kinikwento pa sa ako natin ko. Pero alam nyo, no effect sa akin. Wala epekto. Siguro, pag nalaman yung ina-abort kayo ng natin nyo, baka magtampo pa kayo sa natin yung tatay nyo. Pag iniwan kayo. Alam nyo yung nangyari sa akin in the past? It has zero effect in my present life. Amen. Hindi ako bitter sa tatay ko dahil iniwan niya ako. Hindi ako bitter sa nanay ko because she tried to abort me. I have found my security in God and that is what God wants to do in all of our lives yan ang gusto gawin ng Diyos sa ating mga buhay para maging masaya tayo whether people accept us or reject us it doesn't matter you are secure in the love of God ano sabi ni Paul so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith and I pray that you being rooted and establish in love. Sino ba yung love sa Bible? God. The book of 1 John says, God is love. O, describe nyo to. Describe nyo to. Pag di-describe nyo ko, i-describe nyo ko. Pastor. O, describe me. Pastor has a handkerchief. Tama yun ba? Si pastor ay may panyo. Yun ang description. Ngayon, ang sinabi sa Bible, hindi ganito. God has love. Yun ba sinabi sa Bible? Ano sinabi? God is love. Ang ibig sabihin, love is God Himself. So when Paul said, I pray that you may be rooted and established in love. His prayer was that we might be rooted and established in God. Because God is love. Sabi nga, God is love. Therefore, hindi kalooban ng Panginoon na kayo ay isa taong karit. No. Yes, yes. Hindi ka looban ng Panginoon. Yung mga taong parating galit, they are not strong in their walk with God. Mahina ang mga ugat niya. Bakit kayo parating galit? Kailangan niyo ba dapat magalit? Eh, hello. Yung mga babae niya, inutusan niyo yung misis niyo, ay may inutus si misis sa inyo, mga lalaki. Inutusan kayo ng asawa niyong babae. Tapos pagdating ng misis niyo, hindi pa rin gawa. Is that enough prison para kayo mag-away? <laughs> ha? Brother Ray, kailangan ba mag-away? Dahil hindi mo nasampay yung pinasasampay ni Panji? Or vice versa? Para sabi sa katabi mo, Huwag tayo dapat magagalitin. Hindi <laughs> natin kinaka na magalit. Yung mga tampo yan, mahilig ang mga Pilipino sa pagtatampo. Pakisabi sa katabi mo, kapatid, kalimutan mo na yung pagtatampo. Puro rot lang yan. Hello? Kalimutan na natin, natin yung pagkatampo. Bakit? 
hindi yan nakakatulong sa yung spread mo ng paglago. Yung pag-umoy-umoy. Paano sabihin niya sa Espanyol? Alam, alam mo, alam po sabihin sa Tagalog. Ang, ang tawag doon? Buguyo. Para kong buguyo. Alam niyo, mahilig mong buguyo. Uh, mahina ang spiritual root niya. Kasi ganito eh. Pag matibay yung iyong ugat sa Diyos, you will never act like the Israelites in the Old Testament. They are full of grumbling, murmuring, and complaining. Alam niyo kung bakit ako nagpupunta sa ibang lugar para tumulong sa ibang church? Pinagpala ng Panginoon ng kayo. Bakit? Kasi naturuan kayo ng gusto na kapag ka Meron mga hindi mga sitwasyon ka kaya-aya, hindi kayo maingay. Hello? Alam mo yung ibang church na pinupuntahan ko? Maawa ka? Konting kibot, may maingay, may reklamo. Uh, present worship, may nag-aaway. Can you imagine that? Um, I, 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 kaya ko sinasabi, I'm proud to be the pastor of this church. Kasi we have good people in the church. Yeah. Um, hindi, hindi ba yung kuno? Ha? Huh? Hindi, no? Hindi, no? Hindi. I, I agree. Kaya yung ano yung pagka rooted tayo at established in love, maayos yung ating mga pag-ugali. Ah, amen? Pinsan nasasabda na tayo, we just have to fix our attitude. Okay? You don't need to fight with people. You don't need to be angry. Hindi mo kinakailangan maging bitter. But you need to get better. Okay? Kaya baka naman better naman talaga yung tao, bisaya lang yung pagkasabi. Kaya naging bitter. Tatatama ba yan? Kaya ba sabihin na yung bisaya? Ang better? Bitter. Oo, bitter daw. Bitter daw, sabi ni Brenda. Dapat, better. Ang sabi ni Brenda. Bigyan natin ang mic ang konto. Better. Very good. Okay. Pinapakas niyo. Bigyan natin ang mic ang konto. Better. Ano mag-practice na? Huwag mo papapalikin niya. Ano mo yun? Yes. Ha? Ano na sa pinahalang na sa akin ni Brenda na sa Alicante kami ang tawag niya dito ay Ash Sabi ko, sabi ko Ash <laughs> Yung Ash yung kinalagay sa mga Oh, 
Okay, so we were talking about... <laughs> You're disturbing me. I don't know kung kilala niyo si Warren Worsby. A book author. Yeah, Warren Worsby. I mean, because he was trying to build a church building uh, years and years ago. And then the building is taking a long time. Okay? I, I, will, I will read you the story. In my second building program, we had to spend several thousand dollars taking soil tests because we were building over an old lake bed. In other words, yung lugar na pagpapatayo nila ng church ay dating lago, lake. And then he said for weeks, the men were laying out and pouring the footings or yung foundation natagalan si Warren Worsby nagcomplain siya dun sa sa gumagawa one day I complained to the architect and he replied pastor the most important part of this building is the foundation if you don't go deep you can't go high I want you to say that if you don't go deep you can't go high by apply natin yung spirit sa buhay natin how can we grow strong in God kung ang ating ugat ay shallow mababaw Tandaan niyo, wala nakakalam ng inyong foundation kung hindi kayo. Alam mo kung nagde-devotion ka everyday. Alam mo kung nagbabasa ka ng Bible. Alam mo if you're trying your best to live for God. Wala nakakalam doon kung hindi ikaw. Hindi ka man makita ng mga tao, but you know kung anong ginagawa mo every day of the, the week. Hello? Tapos, kung alam mo yung mga iyong ginagawa ay mga worldly, ikaw na rin ang makakasagot that your spiritual roots are very shallow. Ngayon, hindi ko ito sinasabi para i-condemn ka. I am saying this to challenge you. Amen. Uh, amen? Amen. Kasi wala namang condemnation in Christ. But everyone has to be challenged. That's the reason for this sermon. All of us has to be challenged. Kinakailangan matibay at malalim yung ating mga ugat. Because that is our spiritual foundation. We can never go high if we don't go deep. Amen? Kaya kinakailangan natin lumalim sa ating pagkakilala sa Panginoon. Like, halimbawa, next Sunday, Sunday Sports Fest. Sa Carabanchel. Hindi ba kayo nagtatanong ba't kailangan ba natin mag-service during the Sports Fest? Ibang mga church, kakanserin nila yung church nila para magkaroon ng Sports Fest. Pero, but, me as your pastor, I will not do that. Hello. Amen. We will still worship the Lord that day. We will give to the Lord that day. And there will be a preaching of the word that day before anything else. Amen. Why? Because it will be part of our spiritual foundation. Amen. Hello. Amen. Nagpunta, kami, nagpunta yung church sa uh, Alicante. Ano yung pangalan ng Playa? Playa de la Fosa sa Calpe Sur. Ano mo nang ginawa natin pagdating ninyo? We pray. 
and I share the Bible. Ano tinuro ko? Patay kang bata ha. Nakalimutan nyo na yung tinuro ko? Ang tinuro ko about two commandments. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And secondly, love your neighbor as you love yourself. O tapos ano ba? Bakit na naman lang? Eh yung commandments sa Exodus 10. Kasi the first five commandments deals with our relationship with God. And the last five commandments deals with our relationship with people. So it is a vertical relationship and horizontal relationship. And it forms a cross. Nararan nyo na. Tandaan nyo yan. That should be part of your spiritual roots. Spiritual foundation. Now, secondly, the impact of deepening ourselves in God will be uh, next. Amen? Have you learned something today? We need to be strong in the Lord.